13 as we get underway with Good Morning Ozarks. And if you want to see something that we haven't seen in a while, look out your window, baby. There could be rain. A nice, gentle boy would love to have 24 hours of it rain. It doesn't run off too fast, and it's not snow you have to shovel. 54 degrees this morning. Our high is going to be about 66. So this is spring, finally. Ooh, my goodness. Hey, we're having a great morning this morning, and uh, we're going to be here have a question for you, some music perhaps, a couple of guests, and all coming up on Good Morning Ozarks. Speaking of guests, stay tuned. Listen at this. Well, that means that it's time for the Veteran of the Quarter. Bill Jones from Branson Bank is here with us this morning, along with Mr. John Atkins of uh, Navy fame. We'll find out about that. Bill, good morning. Good morning, sir. It's good to be back with you uh -oh. today. You're it, looking good? Well, you're sounding good, too. You're, it's a pleasure to have you with us, as always. We get to honor the Veteran of the Quarter, and maybe for folks that are not aware of that, would you just give us a thumbnail about what Branson Bank has been doing oh, concerning yes, our veterans? Sir. Glad to do that, and uh, of course, it is good to be with you today. Four times a year, once a quarter, uh, a panel of independent veterans, it's not a, a bank group necessarily, anybody affiliated necessarily in terms of uh, being bank employees, but uh, <coughs> they select a veteran of the quarter uh, based on nominations that are made, and uh, they let us know who that is, and then we recognize that veteran uh, four times a year, and we think it's a great thing to do, not only to say thank you to an individual, but really uphold um, just continuing to remember the great sacrifices that were made for this country and um, you know it says generations move on time moves on it seems like people um, not so much in our community but in certain areas uh, tend to forget and we don't want to let that happen and um, as far as the banks concerned it's important to us to, to keep that alive and uh, so we continue to recognize folks and thank them for their service to our country. All right, well, today we get to recognize another great veteran of the quarter, and uh, Mr. John Atkin here with us. Uh, John, good morning, sir. Welcome to the microphone. Good morning to you, too. Well, it is a pleasure to have you, and first of all, let me uh, thank you on behalf of uh, myself and all the other folks that I know, friends and relatives and staff at the radio station, for your service uh, and to our country. And as you... Uh, uh, could guess by the theme there, John spent time in the Navy, is that right? That's correct. Very good. Well, let's go back pre-Navy, and where uh, did you? Uh, where were you born, John? And then we'll take you through the Navy service and see what happens. Okay, born in Marceline, Missouri. Now, you said something about Marceline, Missouri, which is way up in the northern uh, central Missouri, North central correct? part, right. You said something about that town that I didn't know. Well, actually, Walt Disney lived there for several years. Wow. And uh, the old homestead is still there. Marceline still honors all of the uh, Disney uh, functions, uh, Teen World, Toon, Toon World, whatever it is. Right. And all of the parades and everything they have at Marceline, just like they do at Disney World. Wow. Wow. Didn't yeah. know that. Huh. Well, the hometown of uh, Walt Disney, you couldn't be uh, in, in better company there. Um, at, let's take you then into the service. Did you uh, go into the service right after high school, or tell me a little bit about that? Right after high school, I started at University of Missouri one semester, but my number was up, so uh, I enlisted. <laughs> you figured before you got the... Uh, <laughs> that was right. back in the days when uh, we were being drafted, right? That's correct. And what right. year would that have been, John? 1942, mm -hmm. 43. I imagine, you know, at that time, and, and uh, I wasn't quite here yet, but I imagine with the war going on and what have you, there was a lot of nervousness probably uh, among uh, young fellows about draft at that time, wasn't there? Oh, yes. I mean, uh, they lined up to enlist, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so many of them did. And, and the, the uh, men around the small towns were gone, you know, all the young men were leaving. Wow. Um, did you just pick the Navy or was there a reason for the Navy? Was there a family history with the Navy or why did you pick that? No, I just didn't want to walk a lot. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay. So the infantry was not something you wanted to do. But that's correct. <laughs> that's, well, that's great. So uh, kind of walk me through that. You enlist, you have no idea probably what's ahead of you. Give me some, uh, a little bit of uh, you know, what it was like then. What well, did you do? enlisted. Uh, uh, went to boot camp in the, in the mountains, Farragut, Idaho, hmm. 
and uh, then into uh, sonar school, and from then uh, to uh, a ship and went to Pacific. What ship did you serve on? On the uh, USS Captivate. It was a it was a, a fleet minesweeper. What's that mean? That means that uh, we go before the fleet gets there. <coughs> ah. We uh, clean around the islands, clean the clean channels for the fleet to go in, various things like that. Hmm. Now you had something to do with uh, a piece of equipment that we're hearing a lot about lately, and we're going to talk about that, John, in just a moment. We're uh, visiting with John Atkins, who is the veteran of the quarter from Branson Bank. We'll be back in just a moment. With Keith O'Neill and Sheila Art on Good Morning Ozarks on the 29th of March, 2013, the wonderful cross that's been our questions all week as we lead up to Easter Sunday, which, by the way, the rain today off and on, uh, then tomorrow a little less chance, and some on Sunday, but at least we'll have warm temperatures, so we're looking for that. What did Jesus do for his mother Mary while he was on the cross? That's our question today. We're talking with John Atkins from uh, Marceline, uh, Missouri originally, and uh, talking about the Navy, went in in 1942, go, went ahead and enlisted, uh, took you to Idaho to boot camp. I didn't know the Navy did that. I was, whenever you think of the Navy, uh, me being from California, you got to think of San Diego, but uh, you were on a ship and uh, then let's, uh, I mentioned that you had something to do with a piece of equipment that probably was trial in those days. But uh, most recently, we've heard something about. What was that, John? Well, that, that was a drone program. <clears throat> yeah. Tell me about that. How did you get involved? What was the Navy doing? When? What time was this in, in, in uh, you know, what years? Oh, 1949. Small, small aircraft. Mm -hmm. uh, just a few functions to control it. And then advanced into a World War II fighter plane, made into a drone. Uh, from there, why, we did a lot of things with it. We uh, uh, took it and uh, flew flew off the carrier for the first time with one. Wow! And uh, used it for various things. Now used, used it for towing a target for uh, the fleet. Uh, ah! So that you didn't. Uh, so in case they were real good shots, they that's didn't right. Come on, our guys. <laughs> Smart. They didn't shoot anybody else down. Smart. <laughs> what right. What part of that did you have to do uh, in the de in the development in the early days of the drone? Did you? help design it? Did you help run it? Did you, what did you do? Well, I just kind of help run it and take care of it and work on it. Huh. Things now, like that. Now, how long were you in the uh, Navy? All 20 together? years. Wow, so you put your 20 in. I well, sure did. Again, congratulations. Yeah. Highlight for you that you look back and you remember uh, something uh, that stands out in your mind from the service? Anything? Well, I think probably the biggest thing that, that, that I've enjoyed working with was the first jet drones. Really? And uh, Ryan Aircraft in San Diego uh, contracted with the Navy and built that first one. Mm -hmm. We uh, took it to uh, Point Magoo, the guided missile test center, tested it and flew it up there. And then from that point on they went into production and then we we had uh, units in uh, Cuba and Puerto Rico around. So they actually put them into uh, live service. That's correct. Right now, while you were in the Navy, did and in the early days through the war, did you uh, see any action yourself, uh, or was by the time you got out of boot camp and all over, was it over, or did you get put in the thick of things? No, really, uh, no, no live action. We mm -hmm. did sweep mines around the Pacific Islands and things like that. That's not fun. <laughs> no, I suppose that sounds it's like live action to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does sound like it, it could have been liver action. Mm. Uh, John, how, and after your twenty years, uh, let's bring you from there up to date here. Uh, uh, what what's what happened to you after the Navy? Well, I taught in uh, Joplin Junior College for four years, and then I uh, became uh, director of the uh, Franklin Technical School in Joplin for twenty three years. Wow. Quite a quite a career, and uh, over here in Branson, are you uh, just visiting, or you live over in this part of the? I live here. Do you? Yeah. What got you over here to Branson? Oh, I think Carl Wade, my <laughs> daughter, did. Now, Carl, uh, who is uh, with uh, uh, Carl, you have to yell the Ozark Country oh, Vacation. There you go, Ozark Country Vacation. <laughs> I call him the travel guy, which he you know, yeah. might want to adopt, and if he does, he can. Yeah. He can just send the royalty checks. But uh, Carl is uh, Ozark uh, Vacations, and then we hear him on the radio stations around here, and has been in that business. Now, he married your daughter, and your daughter's name? Nancy. Nancy, all right, very good. Is he a pretty good son-in-law? 
Pretty good. Time to get you good seats on yeah, airplanes. I won't right? throw him away. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, very good. Well, Sheila, uh, we're honoring the veteran of the quarter from Branson Bank, and John is our honoree today, uh, 20 years of service in the Navy, and we really, really do thank you, uh, John, for that. And uh, Branson Bank honors the veteran of the quarter, and John's it this time. Uh, he's a good one. I yes, enjoyed your is. story. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Do, do you mind if I ask how old you are? 88. 88. You look really? wonderful. Isn't I'm thinking. Look great? It does. <laughs> they can't. They can't appreciate what we're getting to see this morning. But it looks like you're still full of vim, vigor, and vitality. So uh, <laughs> try to be a yeah. spry 88. That's 88, for sure. Absolutely. Wow. Well, that's great. Well, um, you know the, the 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 drone program. Have you kept up with that? I mean, you know, today drones are just kind of automatic. I mean, and we fly them from a much further distance. And you mentioned that you almost had to be line of sight with the drone, right? Correct. The first ones, we had to use, <coughs> had to use chase planes uh, to, to track them. Of course, as long as the chase plane could fly, well, you could fly the drone too, you know. Mm -hmm. but, uh, outside of that, that was about it. Uh, Were there any uh, real surprises for you and a uh, young man of what would you have been, 17, 18 when you got in? Nineteen. Nineteen. Mm -hmm. uh, any surprises for you that from a small town in Missouri when you uh, got in the Navy, it was like, whoa, I didn't realize I'd see this. <laughs> well, <laughs> anything that you can talk about. <laughs> when, when you haven't been away for, from a small town, you know, everything's new and everything's right. different. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. A different world. Yeah, I guess so. Well, we sure, again, want to thank you. And, uh, Bill, you guys uh, deserve kudos for... Uh, honoring veterans uh, as you do, as we all know in Branson, veterans are certainly uh, no stranger to us and uh, one of the most veteran friendly areas of the country. And uh, you guys at Branson Bank taking the lead in that veteran of the quarter. Congratulations to you. Thank you. How does uh, somebody get involved or nominate a veteran or how does how is the mechanics of that work? Okay, very good, yeah. Uh, you know, they simply uh, need to turn in a nomination form to the bank and I believe those are accessible on our website. Is that right? Okay. And so they can pick it up there or any of our locations and uh, those can be turned in, you know, again at any of the locations and we'll see that they get processed. Okay. And uh, you do have a website, that is? BransonBank.com. And we're going to put a link on our KLFCRadio.com website. And uh, on, uh, in addition to that, uh, John, there'll be a podcast of this so that you can download and save it, send it to some relatives that maybe didn't get a chance to hear you today. So about noon, 1 o'clock or so, you check our KLFCRadio.com website, and uh, we'll have all that information there. You can download the podcast. Something tells me Carl will be doing that for us. I think Carl will yeah. <laughs> probably handle that for us. That's right. I would yeah. imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. Is it okay if I go ahead and make the presentation? Why? Yeah. Of course well, you should do it. No, no, we, we I certainly just, got time to do that. Mm -hmm. And if uh, your daughter, John, has a camera, she can take your picture. You're being videoed right now. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let me just say, uh, first of all, that the story, I love to hear the stories. Uh, they're just extraordinary to me. And sir, uh, you not only look good, but your mind is sharp, I can tell, and uh, I'm really impressed. And, but you know, I just think of, of everything you went through, and I think about how that technology has evolved and how it had to have a starting place and all the trials and errors and you know everything that you invested uh, in, in terms of time and resources. Uh, today we have a program that's very successful because of the work that you put in place. Well, thank you. But, but also the sacrifice that you made is tremendous and uh, the, the time and effort and uh, it's what you represent too, you know, and the many like you that uh, have served our nation so faithfully. And so we do have a medal we want to present to you today. And again, it's not so much about that, but it's just a, a, a way to say thank you and how much we appreciate that. And I do say that sincerely and uh, we just want to honor you today and thank you so much for everything that you've done for our country. And so I'll present this to you today, sir, and shake your hand. Very good. Thank All you right. very much. Congratulations. Congratulations, John. Thank you so very much for your service. We really appreciate it. And uh, you can uh, display that medal from Branson Bank as their veteran of this quarter. And thank you so very much 
for everything that you've uh, done, John. Well, thank you. 88 years old. Boy, if I'm like that when I'm 88, I'll be in good shape. <laughs> oh, keep you were, if you were this good Brent. now, you'd yeah, be in good shape. Keep eating them cookies from Branson Bank. <laughs> yeah. You're right, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, you, you should go back to it every morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John, a diet of those cookies from Branson Bank keep you uh, to 98. So. Yeah, well, well, we'll try to make it. Well, there you go. Any hobbies now that you do? You, are you a fisherman? Do you just kind of oh, yeah, fish? Mm -hmm. You do any golfing? No. No, no golf. No golfing. No. So you still like to be on the water? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, tell me about your family, John. After uh, you met, uh, met up with your wife, uh, had certainly this young lady uh, as your daughter, but give me the family well, history there. I started with my uh, high school sweetheart. You know, mm -hmm. She borrowed a quarter from me to, to uh, buy a Coke with a ball game. So <laughs> that's, how, that's how we met. That did it. And uh, as, a, as a young girl, 18, 19 years old, following me around in the Navy, you'd be surprised mm -hmm. what, what a young person at that time could do, mm -hmm. you know, and I got to give her a lot of credit for that. Yeah. Wow. How many children do you have? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Two and girls. Two girls. Uh, and Nancy and, and Allison. And Allison. Does Allison live in this area? No, she's in Joplin. In Joplin. And, and I have uh, two, uh, four granddaughters. Mm -hmm. Wow. And two mm -hmm. Great grandsons. You did get some grandsons in there. Oh, so they're, they're driving now. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> well, they grow up pretty quick. That's they sure here. do. Wow. And your wife's name? Alice. Alice? Alice. All right. Well, thank you very much, John, for sharing that with us. And again, from all of us at uh, KLFC and Branson in general, just uh, thank you so very much for 20 years of service in the Navy. Uh, we appreciate it very much. Well, uh, thank you. Well, uh, maybe we... Uh, can uh, finish up by, uh, you know, we can salute you and we can say thank you. And Bill, uh, we'll see you another uh, three months or so and we'll have another veteran of the quarter. Okay. It's always a privilege to be here. Thank you so much. Well, it's a uh, privilege to have you and we thank you very much. And just, uh, you guys do a great job over there and saluting the veteran of the quarter, John Atkins from. Uh, Marceline, Missouri. Did you hear? I did. I heard that story. Walt Disney. Yeah. Now you said that, uh, kind of diverting here. Walt, they still honor Walt Disney and Marceline. Oh yes, so they right. have a, a museum up there for him. Mm -hmm. uh, really? Right. Uh, oh. And they do all the parades. They do all all the functions that Disney World has. They have in Marceline. Wow. <laughs> well, if we still got anchors away, we'll close with that, John. As yeah. we say, a very a deserving. Thank you so very much for your service. We appreciate you, and uh, congratulations on being selected the Veteran of the Quarter from Branson Bank. Thank you. All right, very good. Thank you very much, John Atkins. Uh, Sheila, our Veteran of the Quarter. I love it. Mm. Yeah, you know how I am about veterans. <laughs> oh, yeah. You do a, a lot with the uh, Ladies Veterans Task Force and other yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. right, right. appreciate well, these guys. Very good, yeah. Great job. Thank you, Bill, for bringing them in. We yes, appreciate sir. it very much. We're going to continue.